Hey everyone, I got a quick video for you here. In my last video I showed you how to combine your buckets into one so that you don't have you know, 30 buckets over here after a few clean outs. Uh, so in this episode, I'm just gonna, or this video, I'm going to show you how to um, basically prove to you how it works. Uh, so I have these six buckets here. It's one clean out. You got your four from the duplex jigs, one from your nugget trap, and one from your mats. Uh, so where is my truck? Let me grab it real quick. There we go. We're gonna load up these buckets, head over to my little processing station. And I'm gonna, we're gonna get, first we're gonna get a count of how much magnetite each bucket produces and how much um, gold each one gets. We don't have to keep them separated, but we will for this stake of prosperity sake. There we go. Uh, this isn't my leaderboard playthrough. This is one I uh, played a long time ago. But it's the same because what we're going to do is we're going to run these through um, one by one. And then I'm going to reload the game. And then we're going to combine them all and then run it again. And you're going to see that the numbers are exactly the same. Let's go ahead. Oh, I needed to... Okay, nope. Water was already on. Good. Alright, so here's the first bucket. So that had 264.67 ounces of magnetite. We'll pour it in there, let that start going. And we're going to do these one at a time, no rush. I do like this little setup. I'm running the water over to here. Having just water, just a generator, just these. Alright, and that was 18.91 gold. I think this is going to be one of the duplex jigs. One eighty three point one nine. Nope. And that one's gotta be the the ST sluice box. And those four are the duplex checks. Alright, gave us 13.09 ounces of gold. Oops. Sorry, they can't go anywhere yet. 
Don't want the notifications messing anything up. 3.29 It used to be in the earlier versions, if you didn't have a bucket in there, it just disappeared. So that, that makes it a lot better. If you're missing a bucket, it just doesn't process anything. 4608. This little setup here on old we're, we're here on old Arnold. That three point two nine. Six oh nine again, which would lead me to believe that this one's going to have three point two nine ounces of gold. All right, and I did it again. That's right. This is the last bucket anyway. There you go, 3.29, go figure. Start adding that up. Two sixty-four point six seven, one eighty-three point one nine, forty-six point oh nine, point oh eight, oh nine, forty-six point one, six hundred and thirty-two point two two ounces of magnetite. And that was 3.29 ounces of gold. 0.22. And then total gold was, we're going to do this 3.29 times 4 buckets. Plus 13.09. Plus 18.91. 45.16 ounces of gold. So let's take, let's just load the game, bucket test, and if you haven't seen my video on my last episode uh, on my playthrough, um, I'll show you how to do this too. So first we need to get some water to there, so let's come up here and hook up that one. Get a light on. So yeah, I got tired of buying a bunch of buckets, so I started playing around, seeing what we could do with it. So we're going to take our six buckets and pour them in here. One at a time, nice and slow. Now as you can tell, what this does is this um, lets it wash through. and puts the gold on the mats. Now I did learn that if you take those mats and you clean them in the bucket instead of through the gold nuggetator, you're going to lose some gold. Because when you wash them by hand in the bucket, uh, the game is set up that you do not acquire all the gold. 
Now this is also going to give you, um, which you'll see, a lot less um, than a full bucket. You know, that was six full buckets. Um, we're going to have a very little amount in this bucket. That was the last one. We're going to come over here, make sure we got an empty bucket. So we're at 17%. Everything's out of there. So let's take these, throw them in our meditator. We need power. Couldn't remember which one it was, had to look at it. And we'll let that run, it'll fill up to about 4% and we'll take it over there. Yeah, that doesn't matter. So here's our little bucket, 4% full. But it has all the magnetite and all the gold from all six of those buckets. Now I have also found that if you try and combine buckets too much, uh, or if you try and um, run it through again, you will lose gold because it processes everything in ticks. Uh, if you're familiar with Minecraft or it, each, you know, you see like every second you'll see a percentage change or something. Um, that's what I'm considering a tick. Let's pour that in there. Let me real quick. 632.23. We actually gained 0 0.01 ounces of magnetite. That is outstanding. Put that in there, 45.16 ounces of gold. That is exactly where we were doing them one at a time. So as you can see, you don't need 15,000 buckets. Um, we can quit calling this you know, bucket simulator. Um, all you gotta do is combine your buckets and you can have you know, just what you need for your plant couple extra for processing for you know extra magnetite or you know because you have um, the workers well, I don't have workers on these duplex jigs um, but you know you have your spare buckets on the side and a couple buckets up there and um, if you didn't see my last episode uh, you can do um, as you you know clean these mats first and then come over, take these out, dump them right in. You know, dump them into there and, you know, grab your other, you know, after you run all your mats or something. And you know, however you want to do it. But you can take all those buckets. Here, I'll just, I'll just load up my game and I'll run it through real quick for you. Uh, leaderboard. Actually, I don't think that's a bad example because I don't think we, yeah, that's a load game. Yeah, I don't have one that I can just show it to you. Yeah, check out my last video, um, episode 5, Gold Rush uh, Leaderboard, uh, season 7. I don't know if I actually put the season 7 on there, um, but give that a check. Uh, you'll see how how I do it anyway. It saves on I don't I don't think it necessarily saves on time because it might actually add a little bit of time because instead of you know, coming through and taking your buckets and then just throwing them, you know, putting more buckets in, um, you, you got to take them and dump them here. It's up to you. I would like, yeah. It just, 
I found this way so that we don't have to keep, you know, buying, you know, a hundred buckets, you know, like that. You know, now I can have, you know, a couple extra here, a couple extra there. And then never buy buckets again. Because when you get to the certain point, you know, you can all, your worker can only, like this one, can only swap it out two times. That one can only swap two times. The mats can only swap two times. So every three cleanouts, you know, you could have uh, 18 buckets. Uh, we'll say 20. Uh, 20 buckets instead of 100. You know, you can press those 20 buckets down to one or two or three. You know, it just makes it quicker to process. Because instead of processing 30 buckets, you're processing three and then just dumping the others in here. Instead of, you know, you're dumping it once into here instead of once into the magnetite, then once into the wave table. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Play around with it. Uh, this may be a maybe part of the game. I don't think so because it doesn't seem right that you would take it out of here and then just run it through here again. But so it, it you know, sometime in the future, this may not be uh, acceptable anymore. You may be, you know, fixed if it's an actual bug. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Spread the word. Uh, uh, bucket lives matter too. So thanks everyone.